What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Cosmic Verse. Let's get straight into it. Some of them will even say, oh, I'm used to girls walking up to me. Hmm. Insane. But what, happened to your insane. Natural, what happened to your natural instinct? Is that what one? happened to y'all actually being virgins? Shots fired! Shots fired! What happened to y'all knowing how to cook? What happened to all that stuff? What happened to you being fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, and having no children outside of me and you? What happened to all that? Now, do, are men just choosing not to walk up to women? Yes, correct. That thing? Yes. Kind of a thing. Kind of a thing. Fear is real. Mental health is real. The anxiety of trying to... It's not the fear of it all. It's the fact that you guys aren't worth approaching. Stupid. To approach someone is real. The women these days are just rude and disrespectful. So I'm not surprised that a lot of men can't be bothered. Facts. Women caused this, so they are paying the price now. Preach that. Nothing to do with fear and mental health. Women have made themselves too cheap and available nowadays. It's facts. You wanted this. Women spent years telling men not to approach to not be creepy. Now you're upset we don't engage? <laughs> ha ha. <laughs> Definitely not worth it anymore. I don't facts. think anyone should approach just like that. Some things just happen naturally. Walking up to a lady was never our natural. Well, you gotta also think, are you worth approaching? A lot of you women aren't. Nothing is left to the imagination. You're wearing basically nothing. You're out there wearing like a super short skirt, skin tight dress. Nothing's left to the imagination. So like what is the appeal of approaching a woman when you can pretty much see everything that she's got going on? This is why I say you don't meet your wife at the club. You don't meet your wife at the bar. It's as simple as that. And these women are like, well, where are all the good, strong men at? Well, it's because we don't want to approach you because it looks like everybody has approached you. Why would I want to try to get with a chick that looks like she has a lot of mileage? Shots fired! I'm Shots just saying, fired! dude. I'm just saying. Don't shoot the messenger here. And I'm just throwing rocks, and if it hits you, holla. If a man is really, really invested in you here and into you, trust me, you will not have to do the pursuing. And in my opinion, women should not be pursuing the man. It's just a little backwards to me. Um, so if you have questions about if a man is really into you, you should take a step back and say, has this man, you know, you know, called me consistently? Has he planned dates consistently? Has he brought me flowers? Has he met my, I mean, you know, if somebody is really invested in you and really into you, the man is Here's the thing. An investment insinuates a return, right? ROI, as we would call it in the corporate world. Ladies, if you have a lot of mileage, you have a lot of trauma, you can't make the men of your present pay for the mistakes and trauma of the men of your past because there will be no future. Shout out to the godfather, Kevin Samuels. But here's the thing. You ladies think you're worth approaching. Right now, modern women in the U.S. are not even worth approaching. I saw some street interviews the other day where this dude was going up to Russian women asking them, what is most important to you? What do you see happening in your future? And these women are talking about being a wife. They were talking about being a mother. And then he's like, what's your body count? All these girls are like, I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. I'm a virgin. The highest body count that a girl had was two. Most of you girls have a body count of two by the time you're a senior in high school. Shots fired! Shots fired! So what are you talking about? We want an ROI. If we're going to invest all this effort, all this energy, all this time, all this money... We expect a return. And the thing is, you ladies, the juice is not worth the squeeze right now. Going to do the pursuing. You will not have to pursue him at all. Bad advice. Mm -hmm. Too many people get not. Well, single women keep women single, you know, and that's the thing. These women are preaching like, this is what you should do. Know your worth and blah, blah, blah. Well, the, the thing is, honey, you don't even know your worth. You have an inflated sense of self. You have an inflated sense of ego. Oh. And if you don't notice in the video today, we have a new sign. Shout out to neonsigns.com for hooking your boy up. Shout out to them. I'll have a link in the description so you can go check out their website. Bro, they just hit me up and they're like, let's make a neon sign. I was like, bro, absolutely. Bro, it's sick. I don't have any treats for Loki this morning because he had a little vomit on his bed this morning. So I think he has an upset tummy. He's not getting any treats. He's just doing water. He's looking at me all mad because he's like, I want my treats. But I think he, I don't know, maybe he ate some hair or something like that. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Seems like his stomach's upset. So... <laughs> We're going to let him chill for today. But, dude, absolutely love the neon sign. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. I think they did a bang-up job. It looks really good. So, shout-out to those guys. Like I said, the link will be in the description. Let's get back to these. Here's the thing. Uh, uh, an investment insinuates a return. 
and us men, we've just woken up and we've realized that the juice is not worth the squeeze. Let's get back into the it. The thing about good men that a lot of women don't realize is that they are oftentimes overthinkers because the man that overthinks is also the man that overloves. It mm. is why you don't want to play games with this type of man because Facts. if you do, you will lose your chance with him. True. Why men never approach women anymore? I think we live in a society where men are torn down for small things and they're scared to shoot their shot. And it's sad Preach. to see they oftentimes bog themselves down before they even get a chance, you know? Based. In this society, looks come first and heart comes second. Mm. It's only going to get worse unless a change is made. Ooh. Until people start making things online for men to really, like, regain that confidence back. What can I girls do it. these days to make guys approach them more? Smile more and really think about the things that you're saying to these guys to make them feel that way. Don't say things like, you're too short. Because that really, like, does things to guys' ego. It's harmful. You ever seen a girl reject a guy and scarred him? I sadly have. At bars and stuff, you know, people, like, just say you and turn around. And you can, like, look at the guy in the eyes and they look really sad after. And just, like, overall, it's a bad time. Looks comes wow. first and heart comes second, ladies and gents. That has always been the reality since day one. Well, the thing is, is, looks always do come first because your superficiality is going to be how somebody judges you from the jump. I've always said 75% of somebody's perception of you from the jump is going to be what you look like. If you don't look the part, people aren't going to want to talk to you. They're not going to want to see your heart if you don't look the part. Ooh, look at that. Mic drop. They're not going to want to see your heart and get to know your heart if you do not look the part. This is why I preach so much on aesthetics. This is why I preach so much on how you look, how you carry yourself, how you walk, talk, and act because like the thing is is looking good is getting you a ticket to the dance but then having a good personality is what gets you a date afterwards so it's like it takes a little bit of both don't approach me at the park because i'm so cute like um honey you look like somebody from the lord of the rings shots fired shots fired. Well, sunken in eyes you look like you need to drink some water let's keep it a buck tell me you wouldn't come up to this no i wouldn't maybe i wouldn't either Actually, I'm going to read Twilight now. <laughs> yeah, I got this complaint from a lot of women, actually, that men don't really make real approaches anymore. If they do, it's like some bullshit, like they're going to catcall or whatever. I do blame the internet as, as a part of it, but also... Um, I think it's safer for dating apps and Instagram, because yeah. I just send a DM or send a text, you don't respond, okay, cool. No pressure, yeah. no actual rejection, is whatever. To know, single men, why are you don't pursue anymore? What's up? Not worth it. That is a great question, and in my experience, I learned really fast in the dating world that if I pursued a woman, they lost interest for whatever reason. And I discovered that if I just became a little bit more hard to get and more into myself, that I had more success. With it's friends. called being magnetic versus chasing. Here's the thing, dude. When you when you chase money or when you chase things, it runs. When you attract things, they come to you. This is why I say if you chase money, it runs. If you chase women, they run. But if you attract them and you're a magnetic, you have a magnetic personality, they can see that you don't care what the outcomes are. You don't care what happens. Women are drawn to you. This is why I think that men should focus on themselves. You need to fall in love with yourself before you can fall in love with anybody else. But if you fall in love with the success of your life, you fall in love with what you want to do with your life, then the women will come, dude paints this picture that women are into guys that are into cars and fantasy football but where are the guys out there that are into gaming and play D D and binge watch anime or star wars so this or is called a pick me this is one of those girls that like knows she's talking to a large group of men but is trying to bait comments online avoid these types of women <laughs> Lord of the Rings, or collect action figures or Funko Pops, or build Legos. Where you never give these men a chance. Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last time a girl was like, I really want to buck a guy that gets, has Funko Pops. Stupid. Stop it, dude. Oh, I almost bet you she's been ran through by Chad and Tyrone. She's a runner. She's a track Talking star. about she wants a guy with a Funko Pop. Stop it. <laughs> oh. Where are those guys at? Let me know. Most have been passed up to often in the past and are now taken or dead. That's or what I'm saying. These men, these men are out there. They're actually, they're absolutely everywhere. These men are everywhere, but you have nexting them. No girl is out there talking about wanting a man that has a Funko Pop collection. Let's keep it a buck. And if you do, shout out to you because Funko Pops are cool. I don't collect anything. I've never been much of a collector, but like girls aren't out there asking for these guys for real. Worst. You lose your money, the house. Jeebus Christ, and Rachel would say, you know what? I know I can pay her a thousand dollars and I could crack those eggs. Oh, you know what? I can't take her to that nice five star restaurant because she's not used to eating out nice. It's gonna woo her, and I'm pretty sure that same night I could crack her eggs. Let's correct that. Crack First her eggs. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Have you guys ever heard that? Let me know in the comments. I've never heard crack our eggs. I've heard spread our legs. You know what I'm saying? Spread spread her legs. You know what I mean? Crack those legs. I don't know. Crack her eggs is good, though. I got to give it to her. Women alone. Leave women Stop alone. Stop telling us what to do with our hair. Okay. Stop telling us what to do with our bodies. Okay. Stop telling us how to dress. You got it. Leave us alone. You got it. Nobody wants you here. Nobody! If men can't approach you in public, then where would they approach you? The answer to this question might be a lot simpler than it seems, but mm. the answer is never. My life would be a lot less stressful if random men would not approach me in public and ask for my number. Honey, stop. Men aren't approaching you. <laughs> man, a man asking where the bread is isn't approaching you. You know what I want to talk about? I've been told that they're creepy for speaking to a woman in public. They don't want to be accused. They don't want to be blamed of harassing a woman. And that right there is the main reason why men don't approach. In this next clip, you will see a woman that screamed help when a man approached her and tried to get her number. Yeah. Right? Hey, uh, I'm Jonas. Nice to meet you. Oh my god! Goddamn. What do you want? That's the worst cold open. You never cold open with a, hey, my name's Jonas. My, uh, nice to meet you. You always do something situational. It's like, hey, did you guys see that fight on the beach earlier? No, what happened? Oh my god, this dude was straight up squaring up with the blue whale. You should have seen it. <laughs> I'm like, wait, that's, that doesn't sound right. No, there's a beach well over there. I swear to geez. And that's what you do. It's all situational. You don't just, it, you just don't just cold open with, hey, my name's Joan. You never do that. Nah, I just thought she was really pretty and I no, wanted. No, 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 no. I was trying to get your number. I don't think she wanted. Um, you sure? I'm positive. Help. Yo, can someone help? Whoa, Immediately. we'll leave you alone. Oh. Yo. Oh, wow. Oh. It's always the. Big bag, big bag. It's always a big back friend that always wants to be like, nah, she's good, she's good, she's good. Just uh, just walk away. But that, that was a bad cold open. I'm sorry, but like, nah. I don't really see the need to call for help here. Yeah, there's the no, guy there's no reason to call for help. Poor guy. He was just trying to say what's up. He was just trying to be nice and, you know, said you look good. But you always you always leave the compliments, compliments for the very, very end. You never compliment first, ever. But instead, never she tried to make first. a scene out of nothing. Can somebody tell me why when a guy goes through a breakup, the first thing he does is download Tinder? Men don't talk to women anymore or pursue women. Facts. Or walk up to women anymore or approach women, whatever you want to call it. Because it seems like every damn thing men do is wrong. Any kind of way you come up to a woman or approach a woman or try to talk to a woman, seems like it's wrong. If you talk to a girl, we done seen it like all over the internet. Mm -hmm. Every app you can think of, a mm -hmm. woman has had an issue with every kind of way a man has a post them. We've seen women have an issue with- I mean, true, women just, they're impossible to please these days. Women get so upset with how you approach them and you know, that's why the, the cold approaching, there's an art to it. Like I said, it just needs to be situational. If you can make it situational- Determine a person's value. you don't have to worry so much about like introducing yourself or saying, I think you're pretty. You can just talk about what's going on. a woman describing her experience of being alone with her son when a strange man starts to approach her, which she yells, do not approach me, get away from me. And the man, gets like offended before going away. And I said it on this channel before- Is she AI? <laughs> Eyes are bigger than my dreams. Or, but I will say it again. Men do not seek out women for help. Facts. They will either seek out another man or they will contact the authorities. Facts. There is almost no reason for a man to be approaching a woman in public that they do not know. Especially if that woman is a mother with her child and they are alone. Now that's easy prey. That's what that's called. <laughs> this happened in the parking lot of a grocery store. If he really needed something, he could go inside the grocery store and ask for assistance from an associate. Leave women alone. Oh my God. Big back, big back, big back, big back. Just shut up. Good Lord. Uh oh, here we go. This one should be good. Hot cheese. This one. Women are smarter than men. Nope. Everyone's dumb, bro. Like women are and dumb, men are dumb. Some like... men are smarter than women, and some women are smarter well, than men. In the like... We're all smarter. We're all better. Let's go. Turn women up. deserve rights. I don't think all women are smarter than men. No, there's dumb women out there. Oh, women are cool. I'm generalizing the people I know personally, and personally, the women in my life are. Here's what I've learned from my experiences in life: people that are smart think they're dumb. Oh. Looks like he's gonna vomit again. Poor guy. He's. Uh, I guess he's not feeling good. Loki, you all right? You okay, bud? Go drink some water. Go. Go drink some water. 
guess he's not I guess he's just not feeling good, poor guy. Go drink some water, bud. Way smarter than the men in my ah! Gonna have to tend to him right after this. You need help. Okay, PSA. No, I up. can't. I don't even want to entertain this girl. Um because she is just straight baiting. Alright, there was here we go, here we go, here we go. Her king raise the standard higher. Ladies, have you ever wondered why some men choose Wonder Bread women over you? And when I say Wonder Bread, I'm just talking about girls who are a bit more plain, a bit more basic, average. And you, on the other hand, are like a divine French croissant, and you're confused. You're like, I don't get it. Why are you going for Wonder Bread when? You're not a you're not a divine French croissant. <laughs> you're a piece of bread. You know that big bread like pot they have at H E B or other grocery stores where you just go in and grab a bagel. You're one of the donuts left at Walmart that's crusty at the end of the day. Shots fired! <laughs> Shots fired! French croissant. <laughs> if everybody's had a grab of this croissant, it's a moldy croissant at this point. I'm right here. There are three reasons why this happens, and I'm going to tell you exactly what they are. Starting with reason number one, Wonder Bread is cheaper, okay? You get a lot more value for basically half the price of a croissant. And even though some men might appreciate the way you look, they are going to choose Wonder Bread because she doesn't require as Let me know in the comments. Would you rather have a Wonder Bread woman or a French croissant? Personally, I'd rather have a Wonder Bread. Wonder Bread women are, they are cheaper. They're more malleable. They taste just as good. Like, come on much money or time to impress. Which brings me to reason number two, Wonder Bread will change herself for a man, a croissant will not, okay? Wonder Bread will become a grilled cheese, an avocado toast, a PB&J, any yeah, day of the week, go. depending on what he wants. A croissant, on the other hand, it's kind of like take it or leave it, as in you might not be as willing to compromise or change your lifestyle for a guy. And the third reason is Wonder Bread is less maintenance, okay? Wonder Bread, you break it apart, there are no crumbs. With a croissant, a lot of crumbs, and some guys honestly don't want to deal with it. But here's the thing, the People that like croissants love croissants and they don't even look at Wonder Bread. So don't try to change yourself, but instead embrace all of your flaky French layers because the I right person is going to adore them. Follow for more and good luck. I and love they, it. I love it. I love it. It's always the single women that want to give all of this unsolicited advice. It's like, honey, nobody asked you, number one, and you're alone. Shots fired. Shots fired. <laughs> what are you doing giving all this bad advice? You don't even have a man. You're literally a French croissant sitting in a window of a gallery of a bread store. Store. Nobody's looking to buy you. Come on. Me of brain behind her. Girl, you know that man? That man that isn't consistent, that doesn't text back regularly, big doesn't make plans to hang back. out, and you just never know where you stand with them? Well, I've had to come to terms that the card that just drove up. I've had to come to terms that he either doesn't like you enough or he doesn't like you at all because you know what? I hate to say it, but if he wanted to, he would. He would. It's true. I gotta say it. It's true. I've seen time and time again, the men that pursue me, the men that want me, they make it clear. The guys that don't, the guys that you're always in this confusion, this drama with. Yeah, that man, just let him go. This. <laughs> what? Just let him go? Honey, you're grasping at straws. <laughs> you need to be taking whatever you can get at this point. What are you even talking about? This is absolutely crazy to me. <laughs> For the level of delusion some of these modern women have. Us men, we're just so much more based. We can look in the mirror and be like, you know what? This is my value. This is what... We don't even think we deserve stuff. We just want something that's okay. Women will really be out there big-backed, looking like... Um, uh, looking like Big Mama from Big Mama's house and Eddie Murphy out there talking about she need a she need a she need a good man. <laughs> boo boo, you need any man at this point, any man that's willing to put up with your French croissant butt <laughs> with all your flakes and crumbs. <laughs> uh, hey, give me a Wonder Bread woman all day. Cast a Wonder Bread woman. She's malleable. She gets on my page. She follows my lead. She's she's applicable to different scenarios. She can dress. You can dress her up. You can dress her down. You know, like that's that's what I want. I don't want no French croissant girl with all the crumbs. Everything she explained was a negative. All the crumbs, negative. I don't like messes, right? I don't like things that aren't malleable. Have you ever tried to have a PB and J with French croissant? It sucks. I never want to do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Shout out to neonsigns.com for the neon sign. I'll put the link in the description. So if you guys want one for your house, want one for your place, bro, they did a great job. I got here in like a week. This is a custom design. So they did a bang up job. I really do appreciate them. So shout out to those guys. I wish Loki was feeling a bit better so we could give him a snack. But as you can see, he had a little, little bit of phlegm on the bed there. So um, sorry if anybody's a little, you know, 
doesn't do well with seeing that stuff. I do apologize. I didn't know that was going to happen, but I told you guys he wasn't feeling good. But I'm going to go 10 to him. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Get the ebook in the description. Go follow me on Rumble. I love you guys, man. I will see you guys tomorrow. And um, yeah, peace.